Uh, the first position is SGA Executive Treasurer. Uh, just to give you an overview of what the SGA Treasurer does, uh, he, serve, he or she serves as a liaison to the business office. Uh, they help to organize and keep records on all financial matters that SGA has, and they also help organize all SGA fundraising. Uh, so please give a warm welcome to Jordi Baende. I got experience in SGA, I've been treasurer before, and I've been class president as well. Um, I'm pretty easy to get along with, and I believe in communication, because if, if, you, if we can communicate, we can make things happen. So if you ever have any, any concerns or anything you need to talk about, or any suggestions that will help the whole community, you can always talk to me, and I'll make sure uh, we get your word to SGA. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. So. <laughs> the next position, speak uh, SGA Executive Secretary. Uh, the roles of ex uh, the Secretary is to take the minutes of all SGA meetings and being responsible for their accuracy, uh, to handle the typing and copying of SGA correspondence and publications, and to report the minutes of the SGA to the student body. Uh, please welcome Mary Grady Bell.
to my prior experience as vice president and serving as on the honor council for three years. I believe these experiences have prepared me for the challenging and rewarding task of serving as class president. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about us. I'm proud of what SGA and the student body have accomplished this year. We had fun at Winter Formal, we played hard at the celebration days, and we played even harder for a good cause at the kickball tournament. If elected as SGA president, I would hold on to these activities and add new ones. One of my main goals next year would be to increase community service involvement. I believe that compassion is a key feature of a leader. Reaching out to help others beyond our Ravensgrove community will strengthen our student body and help mold us into the leaders of tomorrow. Additionally, I've heard our comments and suggestions from our recent SGA survey. Another one of my goals would be to improve how SGA communicates and plans events in order to better accommodate more students. As I previously said, this year was memorable. But under my leadership, I promise to take SGA to an even higher level of service, school spirit, and student unity. Thank you for your consideration, and I would appreciate your vote. This is Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a, a jolly Wednesday. I know I am. Um, my name is Rosie Wang, and I'm running for the position of Executive President for next year for Student Government. Um, I'll try to keep this short because I know you've been listening for a while. I've been um, the class president for the class of 2014 for the past two years, and I've also served as a representative for the Key Club for the past three years, but I let that go so that I can focus more on this if I'm elected next year. Um, I have a lot of experience from the leadership roles, and I think I have a good um, relationship with both the students and the faculty. And, um, but one thing that I know is that from being in all the meetings these past two years, every Tuesday, I have a lot of ideas that I would love the opportunity to get a chance to put into action next year. Um, my biggest goal for next year is mostly to just raise spirit and morale and just make sure that we are all having a good time, especially the seniors. I think it would be really nice to end on a good note. Um, I know that recently Max sent out the survey, and looking at the survey, there's two things that I think that we really need to fix next year in order to make the student government useful and make sure everyone has a good year. The first thing is that 25 of you took the time to type, that's like effort guys, you all typed that you think the morning meeting should be more entertaining. And although it seems like it's so, uh, sort of small and trivial, I think that it's really important and we spend so much time in this theater um, building community that I think that it wouldn't hurt to make things more entertaining. It's sort of an obvious and easy fix. Um, playing, some, playing some quality tunes every morning, I think, would be an easy way to just get everyone hyped for the day. And um, I think that it would um, hopefully capture your attention and make announcements effective, which brings me to the second thing that the survey showed, which is that communication is um, needing work. And I know that all the candidates harp on communication, but that's only because it's really important. I know that some of our events um, can go downhill if we plan things well, but then don't communicate it to you guys. So I think an easy fix for this is the Key Club has a really great system of a bulletin. We do the same thing and then post all of our events so that you guys know what's going on. Because I know that email doesn't really touch all of you and the bulletin would be useful. Um, another thing is I think Max did a really great job this year of having events and I think that we'll continue that definitely next year. But um, I know that he did a great job with the conference that we had with other schools. And I think that um, it was really successful. I'd, I'd love to continue it. And hopefully if there's enough student um, excitement about it, we could have an event between schools. And uh, lastly, my final goal is just um, to make sure, I know we have new faculty coming in next year, and just to make sure that the relationship is good from the start and that everything goes smoothly with uh, Mr. Bode. So, um, if I'm elected, I'd like to make all this happen. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you for your support.